And then make sure that they're like that. We've got a new junior stylist. I'm good with hair. Can you do your man like this, Audrey? Yeah? I thought you'd want to go to one of them fancy places in town. Stars like that are timeless. I've got a poster on the wall above my bed of Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, stars like that. Yeah, well, you haven't done much sweeping up yet, have you, lady? Go on. Sorry. Somebody left this behind? Uh, no, it's mine. Anna Karenina? You a big fan of Russian literature? Well, I'm just trying to be a little more cultured. I mean, I've had it weeks. I've only got to page four. Well, it's worth sticking at. It's like one of the seminal works of fiction. Seminal? Does that mean that it's got a good plot? Uh, you haven't read it, have you, Bethna? Yeah, I did an essay on it. And I've seen the film. One of the films with Vivian Lee and Ralph Richardson. Um... Anyway, Anna goes back to her husband, but she don't really fancy him anymore. And that's the end of part one. Part one? How many parts are there? Eight. It's good, though. I think I'll stick to chiclet. It is chiclet, in a way. Do you know, I must say you're very well read for someone that spent their life bunking off. Not as much as me mum made out. School's full of idiots. Well, could you not go to a different one? There aren't many English schools to choose from. No, I suppose not. It's horrible there. I hate it. Oh, sweet uncle. The teachers are rubbish. It's miles from where we live. I get picked on. Does your mum know this? Like she cares. She's far too busy to worry about me. No. I never see her. Milan's OK if you're rich, but we're not. Oh, my love. I'm not Italian. I've got no family there. Seven years we've lived there, and I still don't feel like I belong. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs>